me about yourself, tell me about the condition you're living with, and how it's kind of impacted your life. Okay, uh, I'm Millie Peacock, and uh, I've been living with muscular dystrophy for over uh, 40, 50 years, and it has impacted my life really badly. Uh, my husband here has to help me with a lot of stuff that I can't do. Getting up and down from low chairs, I can't get up from the floor. If I fall, somebody has to help me to get up. So those kinds of things have impacted everywhere I go. Sure, sure. And my walking after the hip replacement has been really difficult. Gotcha. But being here has helped good. getting it back. Good, good, good. Tell me a little bit about the hip. What happened with the hip? How did that kind of come into play? Well, I had broken my hip uh, in 2015 and I had some hardware put in. Mm -hmm. And the hardware was starting to bother me. So I went in to have the hardware removed, and I was doing just fine when I got home, but I got up to go to the restroom and I fell. And it broke my hip again. Mm -hmm. So then I had to start all over again, and it's been real difficult this, this time. I've been very difficult. Absolutely. And, uh, but therapy was okay, but when I came back here, I started to see more improvements in my, in my walking and what I can do now. Good, good. And what, like, in terms of the specifics and things like that, like, what have you felt with your walk that has been improved? Have you felt more confident, more stable? Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that here helps the balance, and I get an overall uh, exercise for my whole body, not just the part that has been injured. Yeah. It's the whole body that has helped. Uh, I think with since this muscle, my muscular dystrophy deals with my core area. Mm -hmm. This is a limb girdle, and it, it has helped improve some of that. I mean, I know I will never get completely uh, where I can do a lot of things, but overall, I can walk better. Uh, my balance has gotten better. Uh, I'm able to do my cane, uh, and I, the only things I haven't gotten over yet is getting out my, my poles and walking on uneven stuff yet. But I can with my walker, but uh, I know I can't walk in the wind. Sure, sure. I have to use a walker or some assistance in the wind. That's fair, absolutely. And that's either, either way, the direction the wind blowing to, I suspect, just gets you off balance. Gotcha. Right, right. Um, so you said you've been living with MD for 40 to 50 years or so. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the onset of muscular dystrophy and how that kind of came into play that way. Well, uh, I always kept feeling something was wrong. I was uh, not able to do a lot of things that a lot of people were mm -hmm. um, able to do. I was trying to figure out, how can I do that? And I, I guess it was probably this onset of muscular dystrophy starting. It's a, a limb girl is a slow, progressive disease. Mm -hmm. So it slowly builds up. And my first thing that I noticed was uh, we would go into a hobby lobby and they had this big uh, curb, mm -hmm. and I've always been able to go up it. And then all of a sudden, my leg wouldn't let me go up the curbs anymore. Mm -hmm. So I've been able to do curbs. Um, but if I have uh, a car, I can put my hand on the car and I can pull myself up. Mm -hmm. But I can't otherwise. I have to have some kind of uh, stability to pull myself up on things like that, as then uh, we was riding bikes and all of a sudden, I've always rolled my bike all the time and then all of a sudden we went bike riding, he was rollerblading and I was riding my bike mm -hmm. and all of a sudden I couldn't pull myself up to pedal mm -hmm. to get up and then I, my legs just started to give out, they just were fatigued mm -hmm. and I just couldn't go hardly anyway. He, he would push me and then I'd go a little bit further and then I just ended up having to get off my bike and, and uh, walk the bike to, back to the car. Sure. So that was the end of my bike riding because I couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. Uh, then I noticed getting up off the floor was impossible. I just really struggled um, getting up off the floor um, and getting off of low, anything that was low, I could not get myself up at all. It was just a real big struggle. I would have to get some help to get up. Absolutely. So that's 
Well, but I noticed. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like it was pretty progressive over the years too. This has yes. just been kind of a slow decline of functionality throughout yes. the time. Gotcha. Yes. Um, now in terms of so you're, you're currently using just a single arm uh, cane right now. Yes. Um, in the past, I've seen you with a walker, as you've mentioned. Mm -hmm. Were you ever wheelchair bound at all too? Um, I have a power chair that I use when we go to concerts. Awesome. So that I can get around. Beautiful, gotcha. And you use that just primarily for concerts and kind of like outdoor venues and things with yes, sort of like that? Yes, Awesome. Otherwise, I, at home I walk okay. Um, mm -hmm. Going into restaurants, I do okay. Sure. Uh, unless it's too far. If it's too far, I do have struggles. Because okay. uh, I get, my legs get fatigued. Absolutely, gotcha. Um, and tell me about the progression that you've had from your walker to your cane and how the confidence has kind of, kind of risen. Uh, and your body's kind of acclimated to something or another. Uh, tell me about that process. Yeah, let's see. When did I stop using my uh, walker? Probably. Uh, I want to say it was probably close to a year ago, a year and a half ago, maybe. Well, yeah. Uh, well, I wasn't with it a year and a half ago. Sure. It was uh, last December, so a year. A year ago, December. Yeah, a year ago, December. Okay. Uh, that's when I had to keep using the walker. Sure, sure. And then when I came back here in June, you know, because I couldn't come uh, before then, mm -hmm. uh, when I came back here in June, it just immediately started getting better. And I think, I think all I had to use the walker for about a month coming in. And then I was able to start using the cane. Mm -hmm. So, and then uh, now it's, uh, Mostly the cane that I use uh, when I'm out somewhere. Uh, and if it's windy, then I use the walker. Awesome. Good, good, good. Um, so yeah, with kind of going back to kind of the point of the interview right here, with the cold point of the interview being kind of breaking down barriers for other folks with muscular dystrophy, other neurological conditions coming in, and just getting adaptive exercise or finding a community that can support them in every way. Uh, kind of speak to how new ability supported you in your efforts to kind of regain function and how we've kind of assisted you to some degree or another. Well, ever since I've been coming here, you guys have given me uh, the strength and the balance. By every uh, type of exercise, you seem to know um, what I need every week. And I, well, I've progressed because I never thought I would ever be on a treadmill again. Uh, so now I'm on a treadmill. And today was the first day that I used the treadmill without holding on. That shows how much progression that I have. Uh, we did the assisted stance with uh, the belt and stuff, which really probably helped. And then we finally progressed to the treadmill. And I've been very happy with that because I think that has helped improve the walking mm -hmm. and the strength. I think it helps the um, hip reflectors so that my hips move much easier. And it helps the fatigue. Nice. When I'm on that treadmill, I get fatigued, but afterwards I'm okay because it helps the fatigue and I don't get as tired. So that's one of the things that I've noticed that I want to come here is that it has helped me uh, keep my independence, that I can still get around without a lot of help. Good, good. And I imagine a lot of that independence comes from you know, the setting of being at home, feeling more independent in your home, is that right? Yes. Gotcha. Tell me a little bit about that. Let's see. Um, we had the bathroom remodeled for um, a walk-in shower. Mm -hmm. That helped. Um, we were thinking of putting in a ramp in the garage mm -hmm. to help. Sure. So that's one of our other steps that we're going toward. Um, I have steps out in the uh, back that I couldn't go down because there was no railing. So with the railing, I'm able to go down. Um, I still can't do steps. Mm -hmm. But uh, as long as I, if I have a railing or something, I, I can manage. But it's not something I want to do. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Beautiful. Um, that's honestly all the questions that I have for you right there. Is there anything else that you wanted to feel like me to say? Anything else that you want to kind of brush on? Anything else you want to talk to any other folks with MD? I think if anybody who has MD, uh, 
going to an adaptive exercise program will definitely improve your life. It will help you feel better, give you more confidence, and you can start being able to walk better. Uh, I think even people in their wheelchairs will be able to do better because they'll feel much more uh, comfortable. But without this, abil this new ability, I'm just really glad that they have a, a place like this for people with MD. Okay. Absolutely. Well, Millie, it's been a pleasure working with you over the years, yeah. so I'll have some more years when you come. <laughs>